Many profits be upon you. I just want to do a follow up on the Bitcoin idea that I put out on Saturday. If you remember, I was talking about, hold on, say, let me get a pointer. I was talking about price coming back up here into this supply. And I left an eye there and I left an eye there. I said, if it gets past this one, I'll be looking here. But this is the first one I would be looking at. And what did price do? Price did come back up in here, right? I gave a, a rejection and then up. Now, a lot of people would think because uh, price looked like it pushed past this uh, the high of this uh, order block, you would say, hey, you know, it violated the order block. It just, uh, it, it didn't respect it. No. What happens is, this is on the 15. For the most part, I need to see a close above that high because that high is a protected high. When, it, when, uh, uh, when you see price uh, buying, uh, you know, the markets buying up and then selling, selling off, this is this buy up here, this is a buy to sell move by the market makers, all right, liquidity providers and all. And uh, uh, this whole move is your order block, the whole move up before the sell off, right? So uh, this is the head of it. And uh, I was looking for price to come up here and then uh, show signs of rejection. Waiting patiently, what you, what the way the way I read the uh, markets is if I get a, a break and close above the uh, the order block, then I'm believing that uh, price wants to go higher, right? And this one did. However, if I see a wick high, right, that is just to take the the high the liquidity uh, on the uh, on top of this candle here, and then a pullback, a, a direct pullback right after the high is broken, then that becomes a liquidity grab for me, just a liquidity grab. And you, you'll notice that price came back in and closed within the order block, within the supply, right? And we did it again over here, a big wick above, taking liquidity from this top, right? But where did it close? It closed back within the same order block. So I picked the right order block for sure, right? And if you extend this order block e even further, you see that once price broke this low, now, now we, we are definitely interested, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we are definitely interested in a return to impulse trade because it broke this low here, all right? Just the way it broke, broke the low here, this is a break of structure. And we get, uh, I, I would be waiting for a return to impulse. That was my original setup, right? But because price didn't give me the indication of shifting from bullish to bearish momentum, it didn't give me that shift up here. There was no confirmation for a trade, all right? But price pulled back and then broke this high and then broke this low. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Broke that structural low here. And now, again, I'm waiting for uh, a return to impulse. Let me explain something to you. This becomes a, 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 uh, a strong high. This high, oh, why, why? Why you embarrass me so much? Why won't it, why won't it, okay. This becomes a strong high. Why? Because it broke structure to the downside. It broke structural lows. It accomplished something, right? That becomes tradable for me, okay? So now I'm waiting on price to come back up here as a return to impulse or a return to uh, origin. This is where I would wanna get involved. Why? Because after every break of structure, price returns to impulse. And let me explain this. Let me, let me tell you, show you this. This would be the area I would look for price to come back to. Now I know that's an odd color supply, all right? This is, the, when you see wicks like this, that is filled with supply. There's orders here, sell orders, and price is gonna come back. 
and mitigate this order, this uh, this supply, mitigate these orders, because it took a buy to sell. All right, and when they took the sell orders, all right, they were in profit. But what about those buy orders that uh, liquidity providers are in? They're in drawdown. That's why they come back to mitigate out of them. They mitigate this order block. They mitigate out of those those orders. And then the sell-off begins. And if you took that kind of analysis, if you took that kind of uh, patience and waited, hey man, you would have had a very nice uh, uh, sell. All right. Now let me also show you this too. Extend this even further. The same originating order block here. The same one, all the way over here. Price came back up here and again, flushed, flushed. So you had two opportunities to take this short from the same order block. Can you dig it? Yes, you can. Guys, stay tuned for more updates. Stay tuned for more analysis because I'm just getting started for the week. All right. I hope you benefited from this analysis on Saturday that I put out on Saturday. I hope you were waiting up here to take some shorts because this was a good place to take shorts from. Obviously. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like this video if you want to see more like it. All right. And make sure you subscribe and comment because I want to hear from you and subscribe so you can catch the next uh, uh, analysis and trade ideas from me. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for your time.